Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Well, good day, y'all. Ira Epstein of Linen Associates with your metals market update for this Tuesday. And this is the 22nd of May, 2017, just after 2.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Well, I got what I want in the metals. Plenty of action against the 200-day moving average or open over the 18-day average. You're developing a pattern that I was looking for. And now the question is, what happens? Tomorrow, we're going to get President Trump's budget. And we'll see if the market likes that or not. What it did like today, and you see it in the stock indices, is all those purchases coming in from the Saudis. I mean, we're talking in many, many billions, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of uh, commitments. Now, understand, a lot of that is things to come. Not immediately, but there's plenty there immediately, and that, that's important, too. And so far, our president hasn't put his foot in his mouth overseas, and I think a lot of people are going, Phew, that's a good thing. All right. In the gold on the weekly chart, I'm getting the action I want in terms of higher lows, higher highs. This could all be destroyed if the market were to take out 12, 14, 30. The reason I say I'm getting what I want, because you've got prices settling over the 18-week average of closes. The bias is up. The swing line is up as well. And I know momentum's up. So this market's in an uptrend, feeble, but an uptrend, should it be able to really extend, maybe you can make a run at the upper Bollinger Band. But you'd have to go all the way back to last July. That's the last time you hit an upper Bollinger Band. It didn't have too much trouble hitting the lower ones. The upper ones have been difficult. When we look at today's settlement price, you're going to see a settlement on the market of 1261.40. You're a little bit under that right now, but you're in a nice up thrust. This again, this 1292 area is going to be your big resistance area. When we come to the gold chart, you can see that the market's been coming up just on a daily bar chart. The pattern is one of higher lows, higher highs. Now, on the daily chart, what could break this is getting under 1246.10. So that is the position number that the bulls should try to defend. If it were taken out, support might come in at 1242.10, the 18-day average of closes. But let me give you the negative when that happens. That could create, I don't know where the high would be first, but it could create lower highs and lower lows down to that number. Admittedly, between there and the 100-day average, you've got good support. So you've got a market with three moving averages, the 200, the 18, and the 100, all gradually trying to converge on price. That's important to pay attention to. In terms of upside momentum, if the market could poke through here, 1275.80, your upper Bollinger Band would be a number I'd look at. And I'm sure you're all saying, He's still looking at June gold. When's he going to move to the August? And that will be towards the end of this week. But right now, this is where the volume is at. And the chart patterns are very similar, by the way. Momentum bothers me. The market is overbought. It's come back up to where it was after this break, and it might tire right here. So we have to wait and see. We have to see if our president does something provokes the market to higher prices. We have to see the budget, how that's going to go. Another thing that happened is we saw North Korea fire another missile. Nobody's talking about it in the news. I can't imagine that there isn't going to be a lot of talk at the uh, United Nations. And at what point do they cut off the oil and other sources to them? I mean, the good news for the U.S., uh, Mr. Moon, I think it's Jay Lee, it, out of uh, South Korea. Well, if the North wanted to hand the Thad system to stay in place where it's at, and because he wanted to talk to remove it, I think these missiles are doing just the job that America needs to keep our systems there and to break off the idea that, gee, he'd like to, the North and the South, and especially the new president, would like to have a meeting with the North. I don't think he can meet him under these circumstances. If he does, I wonder what his own people would think. You can't meet when you're being threatened. 
as you take a look here, you're starting to break down even further in the silver. So this was the previous break low. If we settle like this, then I can drop that away and I can make an argument, lower highs, lower lows. You're back into the position idea where if you're going to nibble on the gold-silver spread, I think it now shifted and it now favors silver over the gold. And when you look at silver, you get to see that on the chart too. Higher lows, higher highs, just like you've gotten the gold. A uh, little more formidable area of resistance, though the Bollinger Band and the 100-day average of close is right there. The copper market, well, as I told you, there's strikes at the Freeport mine. I mentioned that last week. Still got the Chinese situation where they're reining in their economy. The good news is they're spending on infrastructure in China, and that could keep it going. But overall, you're not trending. You're, you're going sideways. In the platinum market, the trend is higher lows, higher highs, but again, overbought. There's a common theme here in silver, gold, and platinum. They're all overbought. Pay attention to that. And they're all honing in, trying to get up to upper Bollinger Bands. The metal market that's oversold had been the uh, palladium market. It had a huge reversal day, a key reversal, an outside day up. All happened today. Until today's lows are taken out, the odds strongly favor that this market is putting in a trading bottom low. How far it carries is your guess is as good as mine, but I'll say first resistance, 775, the 100 day average, then much more formidable up at 797. Remember that first time you're under those 100 day averages, you generally don't stay there very long. Then we get to the dollar index and you've got one, two, three, four, five days in a row of a lower dollar index. Now, if it's gonna to get to an extreme, it'll go to a sixth tomorrow. The odds of it staying under this are theoretically, if you use my rule of thumb, zero. That doesn't mean you can't go to seven, but I'll stay with what I've got. I say that tomorrow the market tries to move up and over the 18-day average, but that is not bullish. All it's going to, not 18-day average, over the lower Bollinger Band, there's nothing bullish on the chart other than it's oversold. It's in a well-entrenched downtrend. Our good friends at Modern Trader Magazine, they've come out with their new June issue. Now, this one's pretty interesting because what timeliness it has. What if it's really dedicated to oil and hedge funds? And this is important. Perfect storm could soon sink oil. Then they talk another article, vertical uh, call spreads, our trading method, trading stochastics. Uh, there's so many cool stories in here. And it's not just futures. It's stocks, it's options, option trading on stocks, ETF trading. It's all there. And of course, chart patterns, which I love. So why not take advantage? It's a $79 value for free. It comes by email. You don't even have to bother with the post. Just call us. Go to our website. You'll see a carousel of free offers. Choose it. Up here, you see me on uh, YouTube, you'll see an icon, click it, the forms will come up for it. Or underneath us on many websites, it says, click here for Iris free offers. Click that, the free forms come up, choose what you want, we'll put it in your pocket. I'm Ira Epstein, you have a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.